Haley Jones here and I will be doing a guide on how to craft blood runes in RuneScape. So there are some requirements. You'll need 77 rune crafting and 73 agility is highly recommended for the shortcut. I don't recommend that you do craft blood runes without having 73 plus agility because the XP per hour is a lot slower and it's pretty tedious. 38 mining is required to mine the dense essence blocks and 38 crafting is required to ship the dark essence blocks. Now I'm going to show you the best way to get to the location and um, I'm also going to show you how to craft blood runes. Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I'm slowing down this video so I can clarify how I get to the Arceus location. So I use my um, quest cape because it teleports you to the Legends Guild, which is close to the closest fairy ring in the game. And so I also bring my Draymond staff, and I configure to go to the location of CIS, which is north of the Arceus Library and west of the Dark Altar. The Dark Altar is going to be pretty much surrounding the location of where we are going to be um, rune crafting blood runes. So I use CIS and it teleports me there, but to unlock that fairy ring, this location, you're gonna have to talk to that NPC in the green and pay him 80,000 gold. Um, so if you haven't done that before, you're gonna have to go ahead and walk to that location and pay him money before you can access that fairy ring. Now I'm running east and we're, I'm heading to the Dark Altar. So just follow where I am from that fairy ring. I'll also have a map later in this video to help you kind of get the idea of where to run to for this whole process. But basically what I'm doing right here is I'm spell, uh, switching my spell book through, the, through this guy and I'm going to use my quest cape again to teleport to Edgeville. So I'm going to go to the fairy ring and put in DKR and that's going to take me to Edgeville and I'm going to use the bank and I'm going to bank my quest cape and bank my Draymond staff. Um, therefore, I have more inventory space and then I will use my Archaeus spellbook home teleport because it will teleport me back to the dark altar. That way, I'm only I'm utilizing the most inventory space I can and the only thing in my inventory will be a chisel and the dark essence that I'm mining. Um, I highly recommend Graceful for this and also the best pickaxe you can. Um, I don't know if the pickaxe matters, but you might as well be safe. Now, it's completely up to you on the method that you want to get there to the location. This is just how I do it. Um, there's many different ways. Some people even use a Xerix Talisman. Um, completely up to you. But here I'm headed back to the Dark Altar. And um, basically from the Dark Altar, we're going to be running east. Okay? So here we are and there's the guy that we spoke to to change our spell book and there's the Dark Altar. We're going to be running east, and this is where the 73 plus agility really comes in handy. There's going to be this little rock climb little thing over here that you'll see, and that will save you a lot of time from running around. You can just climb down those rocks, and here is where we're going to mine these blocks of essence. Now, you do need a chisel and a pickaxe. I... Um, that's highly emphasized that you need those two things to make blood or craft blood runes. So here I sped up the process of me getting a full inventory of essence. And once you get your full inventory of essence, you're going to want to go back to the dark altar, which is where uh, the home teleport is. And basically, we're going to venerate these blocks. That's what the option is. And it makes them into dark essence. So I'll show you how to do that right here. You're just going to climb up those rocks run west back to that dark altar and you're going to click the option venerate and there's a couple of different ways to chisel down these blocks once you've venerated them you can simply click on your chisel and click on the block and it will do it automatically for you like so or if you want to get more xp per hour you can do what i'm doing here which is click on the block and the chisel. I like the chisel in that spot on my inventory because it makes things quicker. Completely up to you though. Now you can get one more inventory before you have to go make blood runes. You can't get more than two inventories though and I'll show you why in a second. So here I'm going to speed up that next inventory because um, no one wants to see me mining essence. But So basically you can only have a stack of dark essence chips at a time. So you can only have one inventory of 
chip down dark essence and one inventory of essence blocks. So you can always take two inventories to the blood altar. Um, and I will explain or you'll see why in a second. So here I venerate them and I try to do the chisel thing and it doesn't let you because your stack is full. You're going to run west. And this is how you're going to get to the blood altar. Don't be too concerned if you're confused. I have a little map that I'm going to show you all on how to get there. And you can always pause your video and check out the map. Some people like to see maps instead of following my character. So we're going to run around here. And um, pretty much, it's a pretty long walk, but your run should regenerate each time. I'm not very sure what I was doing there, but... Um, Basically, you're going to be running around this location. Nothing will hurt you. The only thing that is going to happen is that your prayer is going to drain from pretty much doing uh, blood rune crafting and also your run energy. But you can still rune craft with zero prayer. I have no idea why Jagex drains your prayer for this. I, I don't understand. It just... You don't need prayer for it, it's just it drains your prayer. So here is the blood altar. You're going to go ahead and make it. Then you're going to chisel down your next inventory of dark essence blocks. And you're going to make the next inventory of blood runes. So this is actually super AFK and enjoyable. Um, don't forget like I do, make sure you do your second inventory. And here is going to be a little shortcut, which I think requires 73 agility as well, that will take you back down to the little essence mining area. Now you can't go climb up those rocks. You can only climb down for some reason. If you try to climb up, it says that you're gonna hurt yourself or something like that. So here's gonna be a map to show you basically where you need to run from the fairing to the dark altar to mining the essence and all the way to the blood altar. Um, I don't explain soul runes, but it's very similar. Um, soul runes are at level 90 something rune crafting, so I just don't own focusing on blood runes in this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and if you're interested in keeping up with my Iron Woman progression series, please feel welcome to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. Good luck rune crafting.